welcome to my next video and I finally on the internet and I have a title and I want to call it um Kit Zero One and if you don't know what that means it's kind of reminiscent to the Dragon Ball and if you guys are just new on my channel I'm gonna be talking about Dragon Ball. Anyway, so in the ten days I'll be talking about the Dragon Ball. And today I'll be talking Games of Dragon Ball. Because the games of Dragon Ball have shown plots. So I'm gonna go. I know this is not so up to end of one. And I'm just discussing my favorite video, uh, Dragon Ball video game. So, let's get into it. Right. So, the first one I need to mention is the Budokai series. You know, Dragon Ball Budokai 1, Budokai 2, and Budokai 3. I have not played Budokai 2, apparently. That's not as good as the first one. First two, I have played Budokai 1 and I have played Budokai 3. Budokai 3 is even better. Uh, that wasn't that good of a game. Um, I'm not the best at kind of 2D fighting games. I'm more of a 3D guy. Uh, the stuff ring mode for each game it was slightly unique apart from Budokai 1. It's kind of average. So yeah, Budokai 1, 2, 2, and 3. Good games, I think. Very good games. I was a huge Dragon Ball fan. If you have not played at least one Budokai game, you are not a Dragon Ball fan. You just yet. Uh, next, the Raging Kai series. Yes, I'm kind of disappointed. I think mean, that's probably not going to be that good for a third game. Um, because I just, because now Xenon is just kind of taking the bad mission, I think. I don't think it's room for that kind of thing. The first one was... Hmm, the first one was lacking. The last one wasn't amazing. And then the story mode was very unique. And uh, it had a lot of wide scenarios. I really enjoyed playing. And it's a very hard game to play. To beat. Dragon Ball 2, however, though I really enjoyed one of my favorite Dragon Ball games. And this was the monster was awesome. Also including Hatchiak, a secret character that was also included, which is kind of a special character. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed Raging Boss 2. And then there was an in story mode that kind of had a unique galaxy mode where you kind of play all the, the missions that your characters have played. And I kind of like that. So, next one. Um, okay, I gotta come confess to me. I've never played Dragon Ball Z and Kaiichi 3. Hmm. The annoying thing is I do have it. I picked it up because I was thinking, oh my god, this game is like amazing. I need to get it because I do have a PS2. Yeah, so I, hmm, no, my PS2 is kind of broken. So I couldn't break, play it. Really annoyed. It's kind of just sitting there. I'm hoping one day if I just fix my PS2 so I can finally play it. Like, I played once and it was like the controls were really hard. So maybe it's not my kind of game. Um, I think there's another one. Okay, Battle Z. If you want to play Battle Z, don't buy it. Because it is fun for some people, but Battle Z was very, very, very disappointing. And I thought Z was the awesome. Because it was based on a movie. Movie, you know, with a. With an awesome plot, and I thought it was going to be the greatest Dragon Ball ever. But what was I wrong? Well, the controls are wonky, and I'm never going to go back to it. I really didn't enjoy it, and never completed the game. And so, no, no. <laughs> well, if you do want to get it, I do get it, because I just probably didn't understand what it's trying to do. I didn't understand. And I'm just more of a or just a simple fighting game kind of Dragon Ball player. So, hmm. Trying to think. Jeez. Hmm. Okay, okay, I don't know. The only one Dragon Ball Z game I can think of is Burst Limit, and I never played that. So, I can't talk about that. Um, so, I so now I'm gonna go get on to Xenoverse. Now Xenoverse is my personal favorite Dragon Ball game. 
Angel Two is probably my favorite now, but I enjoy both. And Angel of Bad this is one I do really enjoy. I think the last one is two two, sorry, is so much better because the controls are more polished and great. It's like even better and it's it's better. Now the Zero Cross movie on how other was good. If you have not been back to Dragon Ball Zero Cross 2, I suggest you buy the first one first. It's best to have both of them. Um but the thing was I enjoyed the roster of um the Dragon Ball Z in Zero Cross 2. The first one the first two was really horrible. I didn't enjoy it at all. Um the second last thing was good. It was good. But it, if we didn't didn't have every character, we didn't need to think we didn't have to take the AG roster. It was kinda of balanced. It had a balanced roster. And so I I appreciated the other characters like Majin Buji 